The wait is almost over. Walrus Run releases tomorrow, November 5th, at midnight EDT. It's been quite the ride the past uh, 18 months or so. Okay, more accurately, 17, maybe 16 and a half months. I started June last year, so you're doing the math, I guess. But development is done. It the game is finished, and it, it, it time has gone by so fast. I can't believe it's already here. You know, it, it, November 5th is just right around the corner it's tomorrow and like I've, I've been planning for this day I've been waiting and it, it it's finally here I gosh I don't even know what to say I'm very excited that I was able to complete my first game and it's a complete package and it's relatively polished and bug free and I'm very happy with how the game turned out and I can't wait to see everyone's uh, reception and feedback to it I'm very excited about that and i'm also very excited to take a break <laughs> uh just a break from uh working for a while maybe just a, a week or two just to just enjoy the holiday i guess but um yeah i am tired but i'm also happy that the job is done and the game will soon be in the palm of your hand so uh, as of recording uh we are about 12 hours away from the game's launch. It's about 12.30 right now. And I wanted to wait until this moment to record a more improvised video just to give you my actual final thoughts right before launch. Nothing, you know, staged or preemptive like a couple of days earlier or anything. This is the day before launch, and I wanted to get my thoughts on a video here. So... You know, a couple weeks ago, I was feeling pretty good about the game, to be honest, and I still am. It hasn't changed much, but uh, a couple months ago, different story. I was stressed out, I was worried the game wouldn't be good, or there's would be some crucial bugs that get blasted online or something like that. I was very anxious and uh, doomer, you could say, about the game, but now that we're getting closer to launch, the bugs just keep getting fixed and think the pieces are falling into place you know everything's just working out somehow and i'm feeling good about it i i really am feeling good that i delivered a quality product which is the one thing i wanted to do you know i wanted my first game to be worthwhile something good memorable and not just some uh, a cheap asset flip if you will you know i wanted to actually put some effort into it and i think it shows i really do think it shows you know Looking back at it, there's definitely room for improvement, of course, but it's my first game, and I learned an unbelievable amount of stuff the past year and a half about game development and the business side of it as well. And I, I'm i looking forward to starting a new project and just putting in all the stuff I learned, you know. Plenty of uh, mistakes will be avoided this time, new techniques and stuff. I'm really excited to, you know, just continue making games, man, because... This is definitely my calling. I love doing this a lot, and I want to keep making better games, bigger games, with more ambition. So I'm going to keep doing that. And uh, let's just talk about uh, what's going on today and plans for the future, because that intro was a little uh, a little long. <laughs> so um, today I'm just going to be uh, doing some more playtesting. Most of the bugs seem to be fixed, but I'm going to play test a few more times. Just see if I find any bugs. Just even the smallest bugs I want to patch out. The bugs you wouldn't even notice. And um, I will confirm that there is a bug I discovered last night. And I'm going to patch it out today. I actually already found a solution. I just need to build the game and update it to Steam. So I will be making an update today, probably around tonight, because I'm going to play test this afternoon and find some extra bugs. Assuming everything is good, I will issue out an update later tonight. Uh, on three different versions. There's the Steam version, the Itch version, and the Steam demo. <laughs> so I uh, have a, a, bit, a bit of a process when it comes to updating the game here, even if it's just for one small bug. So... <laughs> Let's hope I uh, find as many bugs as possible, <laughs> you know, around, uh, this week, around the period, this period, you know. And I'll be listening to the community, you know, we have a bug report, Discord, chat, and you can just let me know on YouTube or wherever else. If you find a bug, I will, you know, look into it. Of 
course. But a patch is coming later today. And uh, as for tonight, the game is launching 12 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Is that what the D is? It's Eastern Time. Okay. 12 a.m. Eastern Time tonight. So, you know, you can check Steam around that time and buy the game right away if you want. Or you can wait till the morning. It's up to you. I will be streaming on Twitch tonight. We're going to have a launch party. Uh, we're going to start at 11 p.m. And, you know... I don't know what I'm going to do for that hour, but I'll probably play the game some more and talk about it. And then, at midnight, we're going to be launching the game. And it'll be out in the open. And, uh, I, I'm really... I wonder what I'm going to feel uh, when I press the release app button. Like, I wonder what I'm going to be feeling exactly. It'll be midnight, so I might be a little tired, but, like, I'm curious, like how I'm gonna feel. I don't think I'm gonna have a breakdown or anything like that, but I'm just wondering. I'll be like, oh, thank God, that's over. <laughs> you know? So that's gonna happen tonight. Uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be live on Twitch doing uh, something. So, yeah. And uh, hopefully afterwards, I could uh, stream more often. I said that in the last Deep Dive video. Hey, you should. I, I should stream more often, and I didn't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Development is... Uh, I don't know, I like to focus, I guess, instead of focusing on the chat, I guess, but I'll try to um, stream more now that the game's done. Yeah, and now, uh, let's talk about the actual interesting stuff, the post-launch plans. So, I want to just confirm right, right off the bat, I'm not planning any DLC. And by DLC, I mean major content updates such as new levels. I'm not planning on doing that, like... The game's gonna have 18 levels, it's gonna stay that way. But, so, no DLC levels. What I do want to add, though, are some new features that I think would be really cool to see in a game like this. Uh, leaderboards would be a pretty good one, considering it's, you know, you have scores and times to share, so, like, you know, why not have a leaderboard? I am unfamiliar with how to make a leaderboard and maintain it, I know Steam has a leaderboard function, but I don't know if I need to host it on my own server or something like that. I'm very unfamiliar. I will have to do research on that, and uh, I will see if I can get a leaderboard up and running in the game sometime in the future. Probably next year. And this isn't guaranteed, by the way. These are things I want to experiment with, and if it doesn't go through, then it just doesn't happen. But, you know, I want to try adding a leaderboard into the game. Just, you know, because feels like it would make sense to do that and uh other thing i want to add are uh skins playable skins that you can just swap out you know the walrus is just a solid color so you know giving him costumes or different colors would be w would make sense you know he seems like a customizable character so i want to add some uh skins you know some pre-built skins and some maybe modded skins too and speaking of mods I do want to add mod support. There's already some indie games on Steam that have Steam Workshop integration. I want to look into how to get that working. Because, you know, custom uh, levels, custom skins, or new game modes, new games entirely, That I'm all about that. I think that sounds very cool. So I do want to experiment with Steam Workshop and get that working, hopefully. You can still mod the game, even without Steam Workshop. If you're familiar with Unreal Engine games, you can just mod them, you know, no problem, and upload your mods to Game Banana or Nexus Mods or something. Like, you can do that without Steam Workshop, but Steam Workshop just makes the process easier, especially for, like, sharing mods, because it's like a one-click install for a mod. So, you know, I definitely want to experiment with Steam Workshop, because it's a very convenient feature. And modding games is cool. I just want people to mod my game, man. <laughs> so I, I will definitely look into that as well. In regards to post-launch plans for Walrus 1 specifically, that's about it. Not, not a whole lot. And, you know, I'm the kind of guy that would prefer to move on to another project rather than adding DLC to a previous one. So that's what I'm going to move my focus to next. So... Uh, it seems like a good segue to talk about uh, what's next for me, the jam. What 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 am I? What are we doing next, right? The truth is, I don't know. Um, I do know what my next major game is gonna be. I'm gonna 
keep that on the low, down low. How do you call it? I'm gonna keep it low key for a little while, but I do have plans for what my na my next major game is gonna be. No idea when it's coming out, when I'll announce it, if I'll get a publisher. I, I don't know. I got nothing to show right now. I haven't even created the Unreal project yet, so. <laughs> but I have I have ideas for for my uh, next game, but um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be doing that uh, next because. I still need money for to pay for bills and whatnot. So assuming this game, Walrus One, doesn't make millions of dollars to help me with that or anything, I'll probably be searching for a job in the game industry. That was actually the main reason why I even started this project because after I graduated college, my portfolio wasn't that good. So I made my own game just to prove, hey, I'm capable of doing something. So, now that the game is out, I'm going to update my portfolio, essentially, and start applying for jobs in the industry. And I'm aware that the industry is in a rough spot right now, so finding a job is going to be uh, brutal. That's for sure. But I'm going to put in the work, because I, I, I just don't want to go back to retail. <laughs> I really want a game industry job, so I'm going to try to find one. And, um... I'll be updating my own portfolio website. I'll be using the jam.games. I'll probably make a new page on that website for my portfolio specifically, just so I don't have to buy a new domain or anything. But uh, expect an update to the website eventually, I suppose. <laughs> and, um, you know, that those are basically my two avenues. Either I the game's very successful and I start development on the next game right away, or I find a new job in the industry and work on the next game uh, part-time, you know. But either way, you know, you know, the Jam, the Walrus franchise, if you could call it that, uh, you know, it's just getting started, man. I want to keep making games, and I, wanna, I want them to keep getting bigger and bigger. Like, this game was very small in scope, but my next game is, like, much larger, but it still seems like a manageable size for me, so I really want to put a lot of time into the next game and make it something even more special than the, the first one, you know, even more, like, something bigger. And, um, when and how I'm gonna do that, I don't know. Uh, we will have to wait and see, and it really just depends on, uh, I suppose the game's success, but also if I could find a job or not. <laughs> uh, my future, you know, my, my exact plans for the future for the next few months is up in the air. But I'm interested to see where things go from here, you know. So it's going to be quite an interesting ride. And for all of you that have been following me the past few months, or should I say years, thank you for the support, of course, you know. You know, uh, that support just means so much to me. It's a huge motivator for me to keep going and, you know, finish the game, release the product, you know. Um... And hopefully, with the release of the game, I'll, you know, get more, get, uh, more followers, you know, get, a, expand the community more, you know, I'm, I'm totally down for that. You know, seeing people play the game, making a community, that's all I ever wanted, man, you know, just, so just thanks again for any and all support you've given me. And don't forget, you can still wishlist the game now, since it's technically not out yet, but 12 hours from now, you can buy the game. Still add it to your wish list, even if it's out, of course. But you know, if you're if you are capable of buying the game, consider buying it. It will be, um, it will have a launch sale for about two weeks, about a dollar off. So it's going to be eight ninety nine. And then on, you can also buy it on itch.io for ten bucks if you prefer itch.io. And yeah, that closes the book on this chapter of my life, I suppose. You know, and I'm, you know. I wanted to fit more text in the thumbnail. The thumbnail says end of a journey, but I kind of wanted to do something like the end of a chapter, start of a new one, but like, you know, it's too much text for a thumbnail. But that's kind of where my headspace is right now, you know. It's, the walrus has finally ran. <laughs> uh, what a banger outro that was, but um, <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to what happens next in my career, my life, so um, I guess one more thing is I should talk about what this channel is going to be. Uh, I guess it'll still be the channel for the company, you know, any uh, updates for Walrus Run or whatever future project. I'll post it here in a deep dive fashion, I suppose. But yeah, and there is a, and yet another thing I forgot to mention, um, my video schedule. Um, the trailer 
drops tomorrow at noon. Not midnight, but tomorrow at noon. And then we have a new video November 6th at midnight. That's a 50-minute video about speedrunning and strategies in each level. Sort of like a beginner's guide to speedrunning with the game. <coughs> and I also made splits... How do I put it? I made split files for live split, which is a timer people use for speedrunning. If you use that timer, you can download spit, spits, splits that I uh, custom made. You can download that off of Google Drive and, you know, customize it if you want. It's just a basic template. You can expand on it, of course. Okay, that is actually the end of the video now. I'm looking over my notes. That's literally everything. So, thank you everyone for your support. And uh, consider buying the game once it does come out. I'm totally looking forward to everybody's reviews and receptions and stuff. So, thank you again everybody. And I will see you in the next video. Whatever video that's going to be. Uh, this is a fantastic outro.